So please stick around. Please give them a, a warm welcome. To, uh, give a hand to their Dancing Town Cultural Center. They did a great job. Thank you. Gathering. They are over at watching the soccer match as usual. So I want to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do today. It's kind of special for us and hopefully for you. So just one second till we get set up there. What you're going to see today are typical Bulgarian uh, dances from the village. We're not going to perform any choreographies because we didn't think that was the right thing for today. We have wonderful musicians who are going to play the music that goes with the dances. I'm going to tell you about them so you know what it is. Maybe you will think that the dances are boring in contrast with a lot of things that you have seen before on stage. But you will understand that this is what people did in the village and still do. And now we're really happy because there are folk dance clubs all around Bulgaria. Thousands of people dancing in big gymnasiums wearing their team t-shirts. It's an unbelievable development. To buy an extra novel, I don't know if anybody here speaks Bulgarian uh, or only Bulgarian. Сега тази вечер ще играем само фолклорни хора автентични от България. Не и нещата, които са направени специално за сената. Това ние мислим да е по-интересно да видим, да гледам с музика и с тези танци, какво са играли нашите деди и баби и сега какво играят хората на село и в големите градове, където има клюб за фолк данс с хиляда души. Екипи за кеф, не за перформанс, но за кеф, не за нещо като шоу. Така, ми сме Босилек, да не е свет базил. And we like to tell you something about the costumes. This is a typical summertime clothing from North Bulgaria. You just have two aprons, one in the back and one in the front, and your shirt, which was also your nightgown. And you have to keep something on your head because you're working in the fields all day. So this is what is typical for the North Bulgaria and also the most old kind of costume in, Euro in Southern Europe. So. Yes, he's on. And and all three of them. Okay, no, 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna. A long cultural history in southern Europe. The villages were set up in a patriarchal way so that everybody had their position in society. When you got in the dance line to dance, you had the men at the front, the married ladies next, and the unmarried young women next, and kids at the end, and then maybe one or two good dancers at the end. If the young unmarried men and women were next, they held hands by a scarf between them, so they would not touch. So when you see us dancing by couples, it's not that we are holding hands. So now I want to introduce, first of all, our musicians. Medialko Kirirokete, this is Al-Qaeda from the south part of Bulgaria. He is one of the kids. This is Rival Kuti on the Soban, or the two-headed big drum. And the first dance we are going to show, it's um, like Svornato or Shadini Chirapa.
Now we have Daichi Wo Horo, or Daicho's Dance. It's the same rhythm, but it's from the north part of the country. And you're going to see it's a little more active. I hope you see that. And we have some of the Tupan students from Sunday drum class. You too can learn to play these instruments on Sunday in Manhattan. We'll talk more about that later. This is Daichi Wo Horo. that rhythm. One, two, three, four. Can you clap it with us? One, two, three, four. Adam Mishta. In higher math by Bulgarian, it's called nine sixteenths rhythm. All these dances we've done are in the same rhythm, but you can see that the dances look different and the music is different. We have our friend Lubos Milenov who's going to play the Gaduka. This instrument is, um, as you can see, pear-shaped, and you play it with a bow. It has three strings on top and underneath strings that resonate with it. And it's a kind of a rebec, if you're a music specialist. Uh, Jenguritsa is a dance way from the southwest corner of Bulgaria. And it's a little bit fancier than what you saw so far. like today. Great place to go skiing, by the way. Uh, where is Bulgaria? It's in southeastern Europe between Greece, Turkey, the Black Sea, the Danube River, Romania, Serbia, and former Re Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. So there's a lot of things that you will think look like dances from other places. The kind of national dance, as it's turned out to be, is what we're going to do now called Elenomome, or My Dear Helen. Don't step on this grass. 
is the song. And it started out in North Bulgaria, but during First World War it moved over the whole country. So they're going to play it with the rhythm for this and then we'll show you a trick. Eleno Mome, my dear Helen, with the same rhythm, but with the violo drumming a little bit differently, and maybe the same melody. We are going to dance Petruno, Petrunino Horo. Luba is going to play the song Petrunino Pile, my colorful little birdie. This one is the first one came from North Bulgaria. This one comes from the west, closer to Serbia. falling in love and when did Bulgarians dance on Sunday afternoon on the village square except before Easter during Lent so these kinds of dances would be done throughout the year except at that fasting time um, we're coming now to a dance that started out in North Bulgaria, but it's really popular everywhere, called Paidushko. It's also known in Macedonia and in Greece, pretty much the same. And it's a rhythm that goes ram tam, one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. A lopsided rhythm called aksak, if you're a musicologist. Paidushko. We count it four, three, two, one. You'll see if you can figure that out.
Tabitha or the uncle's dance, which may be started out in North Bulgaria, we're not sure, but it's the biggest hit on the Bulgarian folk dance hit parade in Bulgaria and among the community over here. If there wasn't an instrumentalist besides the drum, we could dance with the drum. So we have the melody in our heads. That's really done by peers, but first we're going to show it to you as a line dance, or horo. Maybe you saw that most of our dances are done in a circle or open circle, holding hands, belts, or shoulders. Our men are on vacation today, so you don't see what they can do when they're holding shoulders and doing big leg kicks. So now, Nadiaku will play. Darichinitsu from Space to Trakia in Horo.
are here today. Let's see the Ruchinitsa a little faster. this bagpipe or that big drum to fun and this is part of the class which is learning the class meets in a big high school on 50th Street between 10th and 11th Avenue just talk to one of the guys afterwards to find out how to join it doesn't take anything to start with except maybe a bagpipe which will help you get so first we're going to do us they're going to play their big six minute rolled up sweet some beautiful songs from South Bulgaria. We're going to dance for all with you. And the dance goes walk, walk, stay, and stay. That's the whole dance. Hold hands and come dance with us.
away. Don't run away. Here comes a really easy other dance. Take some hands and we do squat on the top. Just walk seven and walk back three. We'll show you. Ruchinitsa, the hand dance, and you just go one, two, three, one, two, three with your feet. Is that hard? Let's do it together, the Ruchinitsa, and whoever is going to play will play for us. So we are Basilek, the Bulgarian Folk Dance Ensemble from New York. We are the 101 Gaidi and Tupans, the bagpipes and the drums from New York. And the Young Bulgarian Voices from New York is our umbrella. We have musicians, Nadia Koketev on the bagpipe, Ivailo Kuchev on the tupman, and Dubos Milenov on the gedulka, and the whole team of drummers over there. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank all of you for your attention.
Ne samo kopajec se znaje. 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 Hvala je tvoj nama? Hvala je tvoj nama. 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 Somebody speaks for you. Yes. Hey, you're a good talker. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm a good talker. He's a good yeah. player. He's yeah. a real player. He knows what. Okay. What is it? What is that? This is a Bulgarian traditional Bulgarian bagpipe from uh, Rodopo Mountain. Uh -huh. It is made of uh, goat skin and uh, mm. plum wood. It's basically a chanter. This is the drum. That's awesome. That's good. <laughs> this is it. Very unique, right? Yes. Yes. What do you call it? Please come to our website, thebrooklynartscouncil.org, and learn more about our Folk Feet 10th anniversary celebration where we're looking at traditional dance throughout Brooklyn. This program is sponsored by the National Endowment for the Arts, the New York State Council on the Arts, um, Con Edison is a wonderful sponsor of ours, TD Bank is a wonderful sponsor of ours, and we also have sponsors that not only give support, but they also show up and dance. Nadia and Achilles Perry, um, thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate it. So thank you so much for being here. Um, I'd also like to thank Harold at Chef Hong. He's my uh, folk arts fellow here on the video camera, and Chloe Achardi. Uh, Chloe has also been farming on the posts around here, taking photos. Come to our website at brooklynartscouncil.org and you can see some of those photos. Um, and thanks again to the um, Georgian Cultural Dance Center um, and also the Ukrainian uh, uh, Roman Lefkovich. Um, definitely don't stop here. Go and look up these groups and support them. T you know, Don't just support with your eyes, support with your feet. Um, that's what we're trying to do here. Thank you so much for coming. Have a nice day. Wonderful drumming. Thank you. Uh, what's your name? Ivailo Kuchev. Okay. How long have you been drumming? Oh. I don't um, tell us about your experience drumming here. Were you drumming in your country and you come here and you drumming? Were you drumming in your country for how long? Oh, maybe 20 years. 
Uh, did you play uh, with any outstanding group in your country? Yeah. Uh, what group was that? Any group. Different uh, four Mention groups. some names. Some names of the group that you played Ah, uh, Borowitz, Pamporovo. Uh -huh. um, do you have uh, any advice for young uh, musicians who want to be drummers? What can you tell them? Tell them something that they, they, they should pursue. Drumming. Play good, uh, very nice Bulgarian music. Why you play so 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 good? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you practice a lot? Thank you. you I mean, not a lot. But yeah. Speak uh, your language to <laughs> people who are gonna listen. Just tell them something. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. No, say something in your language. Yeah. Blogodaria. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, I see a very wonderful instrument uh, that you're holding. Yeah, this is. Uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, you want to move over here so I can get your, I can move your face very no Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. You got a very interesting instrument. Yeah. This is uh, called good. Gaduka. Okay, Gaduka. Gaduka. Yes. Uh, and uh, the English term for it is Rebek. Okay. Yeah. And um, its uh, its origin is, is pretty much comes from the Greek lira. So uh, you could say it's you know over two thousand years old. And how long have you been playing this? Now? I've only been playing this uh, two and a half years. Okay, every musician has had uh, somebody who inspired. Uh, who who is your mentor? Oh, I mean, in a way, uh, you know, Mother Earth. Uh, I've I've always been connected to this uh, to the sound, and uh, it's almost. I feel as if it was faded that I play it. Um, almost, uh, it was four years ago. I I sat on a plane next to uh, one of the greatest musicians from uh, Bulgaria, or it was actually a group, Dilosi Spaso Peopeev, and I uh, just coincidentally sat right next to him on the airplane. The second I got off the airplane, I went and bought this. <laughs> So to young people who want to learn how to play instrument. Absolutely. I, what I would say to them, stay true to yourself, uh, stay true to music in the sense of uh, going against uh, what uh, the commercial uh, media is, is trying to force, force upon us. Uh, I think that music is innate and uh, it shouldn't be a reflection of uh, a physical uh, reality per se in terms of um, uh, financial success or things like that. Yeah, so I really think that it's important to uh, stay true to your instincts. Music is instinct. What's your name? My name is <laughs> uh, Lubomir. Okay, Lubo. is there any young man uh, who's learning how to play an instrument that we can connect and get them to speak? I think about my man, yeah, my man here. Come on, dude. <laughs> I'll just say hello. Let him speak. I'm gonna interview you in English. Speak your language. All right, you speak. Yeah, yeah you speak. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's your name? Speak speaking in uh, speak uh, Bulgarian. Aska Zorkane. Okay. Um, what instrument do you play? Asvirena uh, Kubagaida. What makes it very special? Kubagaida uh, is a Kuchura guide to the Bulgarian guide. It's a pony. Every young person talks about hip hop. Hip hop music, we got here in America. Why are you playing your traditional instrument? I think it's important to spread the culture. The guide is part of our Bulgarian culture. What do you want to say to the organizers of this program? Thank you. Where do you want us to be? I just want to speak to. You are uh, artistic director, I right? I want to say some. It's okay. It's not my brain. It's not my brain. It's not my brain. Okay, I, got okay. new, I got new braces this it's okay. week, yeah, that's so it's good. a little weird. <laughs> Hi, um, you sound so brilliant. Tell us about your background. Oh, my name is Kathy Springer and I was born in Philadelphia. I'm not Bulgarian, but in 1978 I visited Bulgaria to visit some archaeological friends. And when I came back I started dancing. And we started our folk dance group in 1979, so our group is 36 years old. Wow. We have more than 100 women that have been through the ensemble. Some of them were here today. And um, it's always been a woman's group, but the dances we do could be done by men or women. And um, we practice every week in New York. Um, I noticed that you give background information to all the dances that you do. Why do you do that? Because 
have us. We're here with a lot of people who never saw these dances before. Maybe they're not Bulgarian like me. They want to know what are they looking at. How did you get all this information? I went to school in Bulgaria for six months in a special program to learn how to be a dance teacher for these dances. Some of them are the dances we learned in school. So we had ethnography, we had history, we had theory of music, and we learned about how to do the dance and how to teach. Them. So to young people who want to learn about dances and traditional traditions. Uh, there are there is a, a camp called the East European Folk Life Center, EEFC.org. You can come to camp in the Catskill Mountains for a week in the summer and learn dances, instruments, singing. You can come on Friday night to folk dancing in New York sometimes. Um, just ask us. We have a Facebook page, Busilic NYC, or Busilic Bulgarian Folk Dance Ensemble. Um, their dancing is growing up again. It was down for a little while, now it's growing up. So we. What's the name for it? I don't know how to tell you to get in touch, but ask the Brooklyn Arts Council. They can put you in touch with us. Today was folk feet, right? Yes. Impression. I think it was fantastic to see the different kind of dances from Ukraine and from Georgia, Brazilia, and from Bulgaria because the dances themselves are really different. Costumes and traditions are different and the music is really different. So I think that was one thing that I thought about when I arranged what we would do with our group since we were coming at the end of the show. I'm a dancer myself. I observed that most of your dances were very short. Like, very short. Ah, because Why do you we do have that? a time limit. We only have like one hour to do our presentation. I was thinking about in terms of maybe like a special yeah. uh, uh, arrangement so that you know like people can rest. Yeah, and do the yeah let me so tell you exactly. Video. That's a great yeah, question time. because yeah. the bagpiper or the other instrumentalists yes. could play for two three hours okay. we could dance this same walking moral for two three hours people get in people get out kids are running through the middle of the circle jumping around people at the end are passing a flask with some homemade grape or plum brandy everybody's gossiping and that was a big social time in the village so uh, are you trying to suggest that all your dances are inspired by community events and practices in the community that's all it's about it's about the people it's about the people, the music. Um, I think we feel good. I think we feel connected to the people we know now, people our grandparents knew, and hopefully people that are coming along in the future, like the kids. Can you ask any of the dancers to come and speak Bulgarian language? I asked in English, they asked to speak in Bulgarian. Uh, we want to make a international. Somebody, in the volunteer, somebody. I mean, I can do it too, but they better do it, because they speak better yeah, yeah, than me. Yeah, you come. All right, Trophy. I don't mean you. come. Okay, come, I, I ask the question. What's your name? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> beautiful dancing. My name beautiful. is Julia Kostova. Okay, oh, no, no, sorry, Bulgarian. Sorry, Bulgarian. Yeah, no. okay, sorry. What's your name? Okay. Julia Kostova Sakazma. Um, how did you feel today? Super, it was so hot that we came here on the right beach. It was so hot that we came here on the Did you have any of your family members here today? Yes, this is my sister. Okay, uh, oh no. No, don't say it, oh, that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like our rehearsals because we use every word might be Bulgarian, English, or something else. I like it. Like um, um, okay, sister, hey, yeah. <laughs> how was your? How, how are you? Yeah. Um, did you like to dance today? Today, yes. Fofi. Yes. <laughs> How many years have you been dancing? Do you go for you? I've been dancing for 4 or 5 years. I've been dancing for 2 years. How do you feel when you dance in front of so many people? Wow, wow, wow. It's very nice. Yes. It's very nice. 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 Yes, I am absolutely the same. I feel very nice. Много е забавно, особено тук в Бруклин, където има толкова много култури, толкова много източни европейци, всички да танцуваме заедно. Now let's speak English. Talk to young people who want to learn how to dance. Well, you know what? Why don't you know? This is this is Zora. Zora Bujeva. She has she has a young son. Oh look, he doesn't dance. He doesn't play. So he plays the bagpipe. Are you telling him already? Yes. Go ahead. Young people who are, they they have to learn the traditions. We, we Talking to the, it. it's not so much about the tradition. It's about the joy of dancing. Yes. Number one, it's about it's something that we have as a gift. It's free and it's for our souls. Okay. It comes from the soul okay. and it gives us joy. And uh, it's also about being together. 
as community. Yeah, community not just building right there. Yeah, community building, not just Bulgarians, but also Americans yeah. and people from other cultures and from yeah, other communities. Exactly. It, yeah. when, when you come together like today and That's when it. you hold hands, we don't fight. Yeah, and when you are in a we circle, smile. there is something special about that energy, that right? You know what? We have a, we have somebody who is not Bulgarian in our ensemble. I think she might have a couple of things to okay. say. Thank Being you, both thank on you. the outside on the inside. Hi, how are you? So good, good. How are you? So okay. I don't speak Bulgarian, it's English okay. only. Sorry, yeah, it's gonna be boring English, for yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm from Bosnia, okay. former Yugoslavia. It's not too far from Bulgaria. Is there a special language from Bosnia? Yes. Speak it a little da. bit. Da. Kako ste? Yeah, yeah. Dobro, dobro. Yes, ja sam yes, dobro. Yes. Drago mi je da sam danas bila yes, tu. Yes. A vi cura ste jako lijepe danas. Okay. Was that okay? Yeah, and then English. Let's okay, go. Okay, great. Back to English. Much yes. more comfortable for yes. me. So, yes. do you have any questions for me? Um, how was your impressions today? Dancing in front of uh, everybody. Uh, most of the people, the audience, are uh, Bulgarians from other countries, like Eastern Europeans, and then they're like, oh man, what are they doing? You know, this is probably some of my best, my favorite venues is when we don't dance on the streets. Okay. Because, you know, we usually have a beautiful view, yeah. we have people passing by, yeah. um, usually engaging the with the people on the street. Okay. Um, also, what what's I think is easier for people to follow, because they don't dance this yeah. on a regular basis, is that we have these smaller chunks you know, like these choros, things yeah. that we dance and we give them like little snippets. Yeah. So like we don't it. dance like the full, like but we I, would. I like uh, what you are doing though, because that was special. Like you don't normally see so many groups doing the same thing, like what you are doing. Um, you were dancing and you saw the audience reaction. How did you feel? Great. I mean, the little kids, you saw it. The little kids, uh, older women, uh, people, you know, even with disabilities were here watching yes. us. It was wonderful. What do you want to say to the organization of this program? Thank you so much. Um, hope we can, you know, be invited again. And you can only do this when they have sponsors. Talk to the sponsors too. Yeah, I thought about it. Please give us money. Uh, invite us. Is that? Yeah. 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 If they invite us, we'll be there. Yeah, we'll yeah. be there. Yeah. We're very open. Very, uh, we're waiting to be invited. So. Thank you. Thank okay, you. And your name is? Sanya. Say it in the Bos Bosnian language. Sanya. Oh, my Same friend. Thing. Okay, hi, my friend. Yes, yes. my friend. Yes. <laughs> what do you want to say? Thank you, thank you. I see you are so handsome. <laughs> How are you, sir? No, just say something. No, I don't want to speak. Thanks. You? I'm camera shy. So oh, just say hello and then you know, like talk to them. Like, uh, good job. You know, wear them. You know, because they need inspiration. You know. You enjoy our dance. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you speak. <laughs> did, did, you, did you did you enjoy the, the performance? I, yes, I enjoyed. Uh, Will you come tomorrow if they have to perform yeah. again? Yes, of course. Okay, what about you? Always. Okay, it's will so you come tomorrow if they have to perform yes, again? Yes, of course. Okay. That, that is How are you? Fine. Um, today was folk feet. Folk feet. That's yeah. the first. Yes. Right? yes. What is your impression? Thank you so much. Uh, I think it's very, very nice, wonderful. It's very festive, and I enjoy the uh, the dance very much and the music also. Good. Um, for every program, there should be a, an organizer. What do you want to say about it to the organizers? I think it was very well organized. And um, for every program to go on well. There should be a sponsor. We need the money. Talk to the sponsor. <laughs> Talk to the sponsor? Yeah, those who want to, they have to give us money. Oh, oh, I see. Yes, yes, yes. I encourage uh, people to sponsor art and music events. Thank you. Thank you. And your name is? Penny. Hi, Penny. How are you? Good, how are you? Is it bright? It's a wonderful sunny day. Yes, it's a wonderful sunny day. Sunny day, you see a lot of uh, uh, powerful performance today. Yes. And I see a lady with a very a very big drum. Yes, a very big no drum, very special. Uh, yes. What is the name of the drum? It's the tapan. Tapan? Yes. Um, it's a traditional Balkan drum from Bulgaria. I was performing with the Bulgarian. Yeah. Um, are you a student or you a master you performer? Oh, because, I am still a student. A student? Uh, and uh, who's, of, your, who's your teacher? My teacher is Ivailo Kuchev. He's our teacher. You interviewed him earlier. How, how long have you been performing? Uh, playing on the drum? Playing uh, since uh, January, so only about five months. Now. And you're already playing it like that? Yes. Is it's it very difficult to learn? It's a. Uh, Depends on if you have some. I have a little bit of musical background, so it's. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you have to read music? 
you don't have to read music, you just have to listen and and uh, love to learn. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you have a lot of excitement on the boardwalk today. I know, I know. Um, today is for feet. Yes. General impressions. I don't think so. Oh wow, I, I saw a lot of performances that I've never seen before. It was great to see the different cultures. I saw the Georgian group right before us. And it's a beautiful day to do this kind of event, and I, I really enjoyed it. Your name is? My name is Michelle. Hi. And uh, something to the sponsors. Uh, dear sponsors, this kind of event is what brings the community together, and I hope we can keep doing this, so we're depending on you. Thank you very much. Thanks.